Recently in a time of prayer, the Lord showed me an open prophetic vision that was so powerful. I was kind of standing back and I was looking down a long hall with the vintage unique looking door and the Lord said, what do you see? And that's exactly what I saw. I said, Lord, I see a long hall with the door at the end. And the Lord said, I want you to walk closer. And as I started walking to the door, he said, what do you see? And I started kind of going through the details with the Lord on the door. And as I got closer, the Lord said, no, what do you see? And I started talking to the Lord and I saw that the Lord was focusing me on the doorknob area, the keyhole area. And the Lord said, no, I want you to stare at the keyhole. What do you see? And I said, well, Lord, Obviously, I see a keyhole, and the Lord said, that's right, that is your mark. And the Lord said, so many people in life, they look down the hall and they say, if I can just stay in the hall, if I can just stay right down this hall, if I can stay between these walls, I'll be okay. And the other people say, well, God, I want to just make it to the door. I just want to make it to the door. And the Lord said, no. I'm raising up a people group. I am raising up a true remnant that their eyes are focused on one thing, and that is the keyhole. And the Lord said, what I want to do with apostolic prophetic ministry in this day and hour is I want to give people a keyhole anointing. And I asked the Lord, God, reveal this to me. And this is what the Lord showed me, that when you allow yourself to be molded and shaped and become like a key, you can unlock a whole generation. You can unlock people to a whole new dimension with the things of the Lord. You can really see the kingdom of God manifested because God always wants to use a person. God wants to use somebody to open up doors. We need openers in this day. Like I said, so many people are satisfied in the hall. Some people are satisfied just making it to the door. But what God is wanting to do is he wants to use your life to be a key. Now think about it. If you use the key to open the door, everybody standing at the door, everybody in the hall will be able to enter into a whole new dimension that they could never walk into. But unless somebody becomes the key, you know, you may be the key to your church. You may be the key to your family. You may be the key to your city, your region. You may entrepreneur a new business in your region that could open up hundreds of jobs. You could bring so much finances into your region. You could be the revival your family has been longing for for years. I'm telling you, my friends, we will never be satisfied in the hall. We will never be satisfied just making it to the door. But when you look down that hall, you've got to focus in on the keyhole. And what the Lord showed me was all the days of my life, no longer focus on the things that are just good, but I got to focus on the things that are God. And all of my life to focus in, have you ever seen somebody when they try to put a key in a keyhole, they kind of miss and they kind of hit around it? The Lord said, I need a remnant to arise in this hour, to go straight forward. They do not look to the right and they do not look to the left. They do not look at anything that is not of the Lord. They will never be satisfied with the good life, but they will only be satisfied with the God things. Worldly entertainment cannot satisfy these people because they're allowing God to use them to be a key for their region. And God is changing some things up in America right now, my friends, and all over the world. He is having people to be that key to open the door so people will be able to experience true revival and reformation. I hope this word helped you and go after the things of God and allow him to mold you and shape you into that key.